Hi and welcome to Scorpio, I'm Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May 2018. It's uh, going to cover from about the 15th to the 31st of May. It is a general reading so take from it what you will. And uh, don't forget if you want a personal reading with me attuned to your own energy and circumstances, the link is on this video and in the description box below. I do have a special running this month so you can get a 30 minute reading with me for just $50, yeah? Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to give you a really specific guidance here yeah, for the next two weeks. So first up, we're going to start with the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. And uh, let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. <laughs> two cards want to come out for you straight away. Mm. This also came out for Taurus. Uh, Diana, focused intention. So it's about uh, getting really clear about what it is you want to draw to you in terms of your life. It can be love and romance, but it's mostly about your projects and your ideas, yeah. And uh, taking the steps that you're guided to, to take towards uh, making those uh, dreams and goals a reality, yeah. And uh, you will hit your mark. Mm, when you do that, just know you've got a bright future coming, yeah, Lakshmi. Uh, it's all about if you had some anxious moments, it's about stop worrying, everything's going to turn out fine. Yeah, all right. What else does Scorpio need to know? I am actually filming outside too, and uh, you can see the lights just picked up. But uh, so, if you hear any background noise, got a lot of birds singing at the moment. Mm. This actually also came out for Pisces. Uh, Sarasvati, the art. So it's about engaging in crea creative pursuits. It's really going to help not only your personal life, but also uh, it's going to help you balance your masculine and feminine energies, bring back a sense of fun and adventure to your life, yeah. Uh, put you more into your emotional side than your rational side brain, which uh, Scorpio often gets stuck in, right? It's about having that fun side, yeah. It can be music, it can be drawing, painting, things you did as a child that lit you up in terms of creativity, yeah. Beautiful. Could also be that your life path, life purpose is a creative one. And you've pulled green Tara, start delegating. So indication, Scorpio, that you've been doing too much. You need to speak up and ask the people around you to help you out, whether that's at work or whether that's at home. Yeah. Lighten your load in the next two weeks. And you pulled Freya, be bold, be daring, take risks, whether it's in love and romance or whether it's with following your passions, your ideas and your projects, yeah? All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck. And what is it you need to know, Scorpio? Mm. You pulled a uh, master teacher card, which is... Uh, the ancient wisdom crystal. So it means that you've come through to this life with stuff that you just have an inner knowing about, skills and abilities, often from ancestors as well, yeah. You are blessed with them. It's about whether or not you uh, consciously choose to use them and share them in this world. This is actually sitting right under focused intent about your ideas and your projects. Okay, what else does Scorpio need to know? Have a clear message, please. Uh, yeah. So you pull deep teeth, heart healing. Uh, Scorpio, if you've watched any of my other readings, you've been going through this for a while. You've still got some stuff to clean up in terms of your heart healing, yeah? Just be kind and gentle with yourself. Yeah, you're coming out of it, but you've still got a little bit more to do been quite a journey not going to apply to everybody but certainly a percentage of you mm. when you do that and it's also sitting on this is sitting under your creative activities right it's going to give you a whole lot more empowerment because you're going to be a lot more balanced in your feminine and masculine energies right don't be afraid to stand into your power particularly when it comes to boundary setting but it's also about owning what it is that you want to pursue your goals and your dreams what's in your heart and your soul you yeah. know All right, what else do you need to know, Scorpio? Mm. 
right next to empowerment. Tiger's eye, courage. I have to say that Taurus also got both of these, but they've switched around. Um, it's about having courage to uh, take risks, be bold, be daring, go after what it is that you want. Right next to empowerment. Clear message. You've also, that's your second, you've not only got that. Let me hold these up for you. I think I feel I need to. So you pulled bold, yeah. You've now pulled empowerment. And you've also pulled courage, yeah. So it's about coming into your own Scorpio, but you've got to stand strong, stand empowered, chase the dreams and goals that you want to chase, yeah. When you do that and have that focused intent, you have this bright future coming. But you also need to do a little bit of heart healing. All right, what else do you need to know, Scorpio? Holding on to the message. Clear guidance, please. It's two that want to come out for you, and I'll pull them both. Just know that you also need to take time out for relaxation and balance, yeah? Some quiet time, some fun time even, yeah? Just to kick back and have some fun, Scorpio. Um, yeah, and do that if you possibly can, because these two came out together. Take that relaxation, quiet time out in Mother Nature just to rejuvenate yourself. You've got deep side, Mother Earth. All right, let's get you some specific guidance from the uh, the uh, Energy Oracle deck, yeah? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? These two want to come out for you straight away. Oh, God, yeah. Not only have you got bright future, you've got cornucopia coming. And I'm pretty sure you've had this message coming in the last couple of readings, yeah? Um, you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, you have. Uh, cornucopia, if you don't know what cornucopia is, it's success on all levels uh, in your relationship, abundance, wealth, success, fulfillment, contentment, joy. It is sitting under Diana focused intent and your ancient wisdom crystal card. So you do need to take steps towards uh, not only manifesting your goals and dreams, but making them come into reality. You've also pulled under a bright future and heart healing. You've pulled the magician in the mirror. So you have everything within you, one, to do that heart healing, but also to create the future that you want. And just know that you're on a journey. And I'm going to say to you, it's a journey of transformation. This card can also mean going on a trip, but you're on a, you're on a beautiful journey of transformation to success. Sitting right under empowerment and the arts. When you do that, you've also, if you're a woman, this is you. So if you've been worrying about your finances, stop worrying, you're coming into your own. Um, if your flow has been stuck, it's about to become unstuck. Yeah. If you're a guy, this could be connecting with somebody in terms of seeking out mentorship around business and finances is the message I'm getting. It can be turning to your partner in terms of support and advice as well. Let's pull you one more from this deck. I'm not surprised this has come out. Broken heart. Still stuff. It's really still more healing that some Scorpios have been going through. Not going to apply to everybody, but you've been going through this for a while. Uh, and I know it's come out in your other readings, but you've also got the card that says heart healing. So, hey, um, the guidance on how to do that is directly above it, which is about taking time out for self, self-care, relaxation, spending some beautiful time out in nature and just releasing it out there. No biggie. It's not a biggie. You can handle that, Scorpio. All right, I'm going to pull you a crowning energy. From the Kunyin Oracle deck. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? I'm going to say this one. The energy of this one wants to come out for you. You pull the Amar Amaryllis Lute. We struggle to say that one. I seriously do. Okay. Hmm. 
so on point with your reading. Let me show it to you one more time. And it's interesting that you've not only pulled this one right. Let me show you this. So they're almost like they're reversed, but they're almost identical. Yeah, look at that. Both of them. Gorgeous. Um, and what it says, Scorpio, is you have won a victory, beloved, over the past, and the amaryllis lute is sounding through every cell of your being, heralding your rising vibration as you leave fear behind once again. In fact, the lute says you're growing fast and spiritually, and you are outgrowing your old life even more so. When your vibration changes, so does your life, beloved. This is natural. It is safe and loving for you to release that which no longer feels right for you, no matter how much it was important in your old life, it might not have the same place in your new life. Just as a musical instrument can play notes at a higher or lower vibration, your own vibrations being refined as you are growing so fast spiritually. This is wonderful. Be brave as you trust that you are allowed indeed. You are spiritually encouraged to allow your vibration to continue rising even though sometimes it means leaving people, places, situations and things behind. Some people and situations will grow with you at equal pace. Others will meet you in the next upward spiral of your unfolding consciousness and life path. And others will weigh you down and you will need to let them go and they, so they may live their own destiny according to their own choices and timing. The more you allow your vibration to rise, to shine victorious in your journey from fear to peace, the more you will be able to benefit from the quick unfoldment of your highest destiny in this life. The Amaryllis Lute calls you upwards to your own soul vibration, this healing instrument of the Divine Mother, Goddess Kun Yin. Sounds within your cells helping you to continue to raise your vibration into peace. You will feel the effect of the amaryllis loot when you feel that you want to be more discerning about what you consume and how it might affect you positively or negatively. This might be food, it might be relationships, energies, visual or reading material and music, environments and emotional tendencies in certain friendships or work environments. It doesn't require stringent or fanatical approaches, but the loot opens you up to greater awareness of how you best work to raise your own vibration. You don't need to make dramatic changes to have dramatic effects. For even a small change in not gossiping and choosing not to engage in non-constructive arguments can make a world of difference. Choosing to smile more, be gentler and kinder, kinder to others or to yourself, to not be a doormat, to be firm and loving about meeting your own needs are all ways to raise your vibration too. Chanting, meditation and dance can help let the amaryllis lute sound and guide you to the most beautiful and enjoyable ways to raise your vibration. Remember what works for another may not work for you. So it is an experiment and a fun one at that. Stay true to your spiritual principles, beloved, for your spiritual victory will be great indeed. There's actually a healing activity here. Let's do it, yeah. And what it says is, find a private space in nature or in your home where you can walk around in a spiral, starting at the center and moving outwards. If you cannot do this exercise physically, you can just imagine it in your mind's eye. Start in the center and say, I now choose to release that which no longer serves my vibration that has held me back in fear or poverty consciousness, in illness or depletion or codependency. I release it and I set myself free to be more of me in love, peace, and power, so be it. Begin to walk around the spiral in whichever direction feels good for you. Imagine that with each step inside you is a beautiful lute which releases amaryllis flowers into your heart. Imagine that with each sound your vibration is rising, like your soul finding a higher note, you are releasing old energies. Take your time and stay with the process. As you start to walk, keep your steps very small and as you make the spirals bigger, move outwards with bigger steps until you feel lighter and freer or have run out of room. Once you're finished, say, I honour this commitment to myself. I will allow raising my vibration to be a priority. I give myself full permission to do so now in the loving service of my soul and the planet. So be it. 
And there's a very short affirmation here which says, Your beauty triumphs, your sound so pure, causes my heart to soar. My vibration rises and my cells are flooded with divine light. I know myself as love. I'm Manny Padmiham. Beautiful school. If you enjoy this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome and I just so appreciate the beautiful comments, yeah? Um, some of them just totally amazing. And don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and below. You know what to do. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.